What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. So, man, got an issue today. All right, about two days ago, I'm rolling down the road out of out of South Lake City, heading down to Texas, and I hear a rock hit my windshield. I don't see nothing. Later on that night, I see this crack coming from the bottom of my windshield. I'm like, bruh. So with that being said, uh, team, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the inside view of what the crack looks like. I don't know if the focus is gonna be as good, but y'all see it right here up under my finger. It's going down here. And as you all probably know, DOT doesn't take kindly to uh, people having cracks in their window. So, I know a lot of y'all probably say, well, Zeke, dog, just get it replaced. I'm like, nah, don't want to get it replaced. What I want to do, I want to get it fixed because this thing here is all uh, still pretty much brand new but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show y'all up close what the crack looks like and i'm hoping y'all can see it but this is where it hit and it's a small chip but this is where it hit and it went down and it went up so I got my guy. Oh, I got my guy coming out shortly to see if he can uh if he can fix it. Now, if he can't, oh well, I'll get it replaced. But I said, really, man. I just need you to camouflage it. It can be there, I just don't need to be seen. <laughs> if that makes sense to y'all. It can be there, I just don't need it to be seen. So, uh, if it can be hidden a little bit, swept up under the rug, because, let me show y'all. Uh, because from this view, you can't even see it. This 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 is the driver's view right here. Well, let me go back. From this view, I can't see it. But when I lean forward, I can see it right here. So, uh, hopefully he doesn't mind me recording him. Y'all know me. I'm going to try to get y'all the good to the good content. Good days, bad days. You know, that's part of trucking. And the last thing you want is to be starting out with your new business and you start having incidents that cause you money. I said cause you. Cost you money. Cheddar, ching ching, dollar, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I don't need to be spending that right now. I need to be saving it. I just spent it on all of this. <laughs> Your boy tired of spending money on stuff other than, you know, just stuff I want. But, man, we uh, we're going to try to get this fixed, man. So if you all, if, if y'all ran into a problem like this before, uh, let me know. Drop it in the content. 
what did you do? Did you replace the windshield? Were you able to get it fixed? Camouflage? Uh, what happened in your scenario, your situation? And uh, if I remember, I'm also going to throw in what DOT uh, says regarding cracks in the window. So we gonna uh, man, we gonna we gonna try to get this baby fixed, man. If it ain't one thing, it's something else. And like my next big thing that I wanna do is trailer, step deck, flatbed, trailer. So uh, yeah, let go. Hey, doll team. So the uh, what am I call the master? crack repairman has showed up and man, when I tell y'all first of all man this is a busy truck lot out here man it's it is it's trucks everywhere man nobody can get anywhere because they're doing construction over here now I'm at the pilot in Fort Worth so if y'all have been to this pilot in Fort Worth before y'all know the one I'm talking about because you can almost rarely to never find a part after 5 p.m. During the daytime, you're pretty good, but if it's after 5 p.m., man, it's it's horrible. But look at this. This K KLLM trying to go down the one. It's like a one way because it's hard for you to park that way. They don't probably know that. They just want to go down this way. Now he got this man speeding backwards, but it's the freaking one way. But he's he going to find it out once he turns down there and sees that all the traffic is, is, coming, is coming toward him. I found it out last night the hard way myself, but when you know better, you do better. The, the other guy was trying to tell him. Nobody tried to tell me. But we we gonna get back on the focus at hand, man. Uh, all right. Quickie fix, man. If y'all need a quickie fix, I'm gonna put his number down here. Windshield chip repair. If you all are in the Fort Worth area, let me know uh, or let him know. Yeah, hey man, I need my, my windshield. Uh, I need a crack on my windshield fix. And he's going to come out and take care of you. Now, depending on the severity of the crack, he will or will not be able to help you. I was fortunate. My crack was a fixable crack. It, the, 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 the damage was to the point where, yes, it can be... I don't want to use the word easily fixed, but it, it can be fixed relatively with less problems had the impact been stronger. So uh, he's gonna work on it, man. He pulled up, he hit me up. He said, I set an appointment for 1 p.m. I said, man, I'm in between lows. I got uh, roughly an eight hour window to where I'm just chilling, sleeping, editing Zeke doll videos doing all that man and uh and it's almost look like the exact same truck as me except for mine a little cleaner that one's a little more dirty but yeah man it's uh this journey so far man it's it's been pretty good I um I've delivered three loads so far uh, hopefully I've already put them out y'all like we know Z we just saw you deliver three loads uh, Bumped into my buddy Lone Star Texas Ranger yesterday Because he knew I was gonna be me and him here to hit each other all the time hit each other up all the time and I'm like hey man uh, I'm coming through here. I'm gonna be in Texas. He like dude. I'm leaving Texas. Where you at? I'm like I think it was 285 I said I'm on 285. He like hey, I'm on 285 I said, where you at, where you at? And we figured out a meeting point and, and met up and everything. So I'm a little slick jealous because he got that, that step deck. Y'all know I got to get back into my, into my uh, 
flatbed and step deck, man. So it's a process. It's coming. Uh, I know y'all gonna keep hearing me talk about it. Be like Zeke, man. We know you getting back in step deck. Driving in ain't for you. It ain't. It's dry. It's, it's nothing exciting about it. Now, yeah, it's easy work. Heck yeah. And, and so let me put that out there for for a fact. If you looking for a trucking job to where all you gotta do is get out to open the door, get out to close the door, drive in is for you. <laughs> you ain't gotta do nothing more than that for the most part. All you gotta do is get out, get in, and drive in is your thing. But man, I gotta be more active. I, I need to sweat a little bit. I need to uh put my hands on what's on the back of the truck. I need to know what's part of my trailer is locked down and secured. And it's just, it's a different feeling, man, when it's when it's on the back of a flatbed slash step deck. So, uh, yeah, man, we're gonna be coming back that, to that real soon. Now, look back down here. Let me see if that KLM driver has figured it out yet. Oh, uh, no. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But man, this parking lot, when I tell y'all, it gets super packed. Super packed. Man, he's got the tiles out and everything. He is ready for it. He came prepared. <laughs> he hopped out, went straight to the crack. Like, let me check this thing out first. I'm like, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you. Hook your boy up. Cause the last thing I need is me having to spend another hundreds of thousands of dollars. I know a windshield don't cost thousands, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to replace a windshield. Then you gotta go through the process of, of letting it uh, cure back together. And, and it, it's just, it's way more, it's more problems than it's worth. So I would rather just bless him, take care of him and just kind of go from there. I'm all, you know, Z Dog. I'm, I'm gonna tip him a little bit. He cut me a discount, but I'm still gonna tip him. That's just how I roll, especially when it's good work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the inside, I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna make sure everything is to my liking. But at that point, yeah, of course I'm, I'm gonna tip. Tip drill. Man, speaking of tip, what, what front deer guard bumper, man, do y'all recommend for my truck because like the one on this Volvo over here that covers like comes all the way up is what uh is what I'm seeing a lot of people with and then like the one I had with TMC it was like the medium size bumper I'm probably gonna drop some photos in here so y'all can know what I'm talking about now of course the bigger one is gonna be more protection but it also looks bigger. And you know me, I like to kind of be a little stylish with it as well as functional. So which one would y'all go with? Would y'all go with the medium size deer guard? Or would you all go with the, what I call or consider the full size deer guard that covers the headlights and the top of your grill? You know, uh, one of them, uh, price wise I don't think they're too far off it's just the protection of it got the action going on over here yep I was just talking with uh, I say my neighbor <laughs> Everybody your neighbor out here, man, but you know, we was just talking about the different kind of cracks in the windows and you know Leasing on to a company versus having your own authority You know those are always good conversations to have with people uh, especially uh, Especially when you know people have been doing it for a while, but I say take all all um knowledge that you receive from people with a grain of salt 
you know, not only do you look at what they say, but talk to, talk and get multiple sources and then come up with your own conclusion. That way, that's your truth and nobody can take that away from you. Can you be wrong? Yeah, you know, we all can be wrong. Oh man, I got a second rock chip too on the other side. So he uh he, he said, man, I'm gonna knock that one out for you too. <laughs> I'm like, what? Say less. So that, man, he just tapped a hole into it. And I was gonna actually try to fix that one myself, but I said, nope, let me let a professional do it. That way uh, it gets done right. You need me to pass you something? Yeah, like, yep, no, you don't have to get up. You want to box there? Uh huh. There's a yellow can set of red, and it's kind of like this, but it's a yellow can. Yellow cap. Okay. This will be it? There you go. 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 Okay. Yeah, man, because my window. I like that great, man, on that T680. Oh, man, hey, you know what? I look back on Lone Mountain truck site today, man. They got some T, they, not T, they got, uh, they got some 579s, man. Right now, some white 579 for the same price with a APU, bruh. I'm like, man, I kind of felt like maybe I should have waited a little bit, but everything happened for a reason. So I'm not going to dwell on that. This is my truck. This is my time. I've been wanting a KW anyway, so... I'm glad I got to experience it because I still would have wanted one and, and not had one. So now I get to see it, ride it. Matter of fact, I'm end up riding this KW longer than I would have in a Peep. So I have about 12, 13, 14. I got about 14 months of a uh, of riding in a 579. I'm going to be up in this baby for longer than that. Y'all probably like, nah, Zeke, you gonna get rid of it? Man, nah, that ain't the case. Not right now, I'm, I'm gonna eventually get, get rid of it for whatever reason. Whether I'm gonna let one of you all come lease it up under me or sell it, trade it in. Uh, I already got one off on the table to, to, to buy it from me, so. I, I, I just can't sell it right now, man. I, I can't sell it right now. I, I can't sell it right now. I needed to make me some money first. It's my, you know, current investment. But, man, you got you always got options out here, man. You got some options. Yeah, he got the real deal equipment. He don't have plastic. He got the, the metal pieces that are professional tools. Man, it came with a whole case. Come on, man. They don't sell that in Walmart. <laughs> they don't sell that at AutoZone. You got to order that as a specialty kit and become a professional. I guess bundle crack fixing, but you, you still need to know what you're doing. That's why I let him do it, man. I, I was I was this close from doing it myself, but after watching those YouTube videos of, of cracks that had ran a little bit and understanding that you can't use suction on those, I was like, what? That was my whole thought on how I was gonna do it. Now you gotta let it seep in 
to the cracks. I was like, for real? <laughs> Y'all like Zeke, you ain't know that? Nah, man, I, I didn't know that. So uh, I'm hoping it's uh, the pilot people don't come over and say nothing about third party people over here fixing on anything. Sometimes they'll have signs up that say that. I didn't see any signs here, but usually they got a shop on site when they don't want you to have a third party coming to the, the uh, their truck stop. So be mindful of that when you all call people to your truck to do maintenance. If they if, if you at a TA or Loves and they got a, a, a shop on site, they're probably gonna have a sign out there that say no third party work. I ain't saying don't call them, but you know, tell them to take the, the, the stickers off their car <laughs> before they come. That, that way you can just say, man, it's my uncle, man. He, he just, he live over here in the air. He just helping me out. Take a look at this crack. And y'all got that smudge off there for you. Okay. It definitely looks but, better. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely what you need, look it? a whole lot better. Yeah, and even from the outside, it even looks better. Believe it or not. Yep. Yeah. And see with this, I don't have to worry about that, that crack continuing to run across my window. Because if it did that in, in one day, you know, what would it do in a long run? I can see where I say where it is where it was but it's definitely has been camouflaged a lot to where it's not noticeable mm. I need to get me one of these little step stools right here that's better than the one that <laughs> the other one that I had but uh yeah I'm, I'm so far I'm happy with how everything looks I get both cracks repaired and knowing that it's a crack there that's been repaired feels or, or, or knowing that the crack that's there has been fixed and won't spread feels better than knowing it's there I ain't gonna worry about it you know because the first time I hook it up to uh uh, or put the, the water pressure on it, that baby gonna, gonna splatter on out.
Like I said, man, this lot is always active. There's always stuff going on. And I'm gonna say my bad to y'all too for uh, for having my my content decrease, man. But it, it, it's, it's a different ballpark out here now, man. With with me doing drive in, so we're gonna see what we can we can get done to get more more footage. Now look at this, we got one truck going forward, one truck going backwards. It's, it's really a, a, a what we called in the military, a Charlie Foxtrot. <laughs> if y'all know what that means, y'all can drop it in the content, in the comments. I ain't gonna say what it means, but it's a Charlie Foxtrot. So, uh, let's see, I think he finna bag up. And try to get along this this fence line right here. I want to say that's the conversation they were having. Well, if you get off your rear brakes, you the thing can go backwards. Now I think old boy in this Snyder truck gonna try to sneak them, but uh, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Let's see. We gonna we gonna see if he going if he gonna sneak him. Cause if he sneak him, he gonna take his part. But if he don't, he'll be able to get his spot. Uh oh, he didn't he done went on by. Okay, he going that way again. Had he went to the right, uh oh, he is going to the right. Maybe he is gonna sneak him. Man, these drivers be something else out here, man. They be something else. Ship it. I see a lot of they trucks out here, man. Not a whole, whole lot, but definitely a, a, enough to know who that company is. So I think he was trying to, trying to uh, I don't know if he was talking to him or what. I saw him waving his hand. Maybe, maybe he just said the heck with it. You know what, the ship X driver, he got him. That's the spot he wanted. That's probably why he, he, he just rolled on off now. Yeah, that's the exact spot. I told y'all, man, these drivers something else. As soon as you see a part, somebody else saw the part too, and, and they going to get it. So, sometimes you gotta get in that hole first. But anywho, uh, <laughs> Steve Dog is, is, is happy with what's going on. Let me show y'all again, man. So from this angle, man, I don't know if y'all can actually see it. I can see it like a hairline of what it was, but I also know it's not going any further. So that's not enough to, to get me shut down. DOT will, will, will not bother me with that. It may not have bothered me with, with what it was before, but I ain't want to take no chances. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Man, my toolbox or headache rack so dirty back here. All this dirt from trailer roll grind circulating up here and, and just spreading on the back. Alright, so the windshield is completely completely fixed. I'm happy with it. Uh what I'm gonna say is is money well spent. So uh I got my master wind window cracked window fixer <laughs> uh wrapping up the paperwork and everything. But yeah man, this is this is this is part of trucking man. What they say, uh, Newton's law. It, if you if you know it, you understand it. You know, things can go wrong; they will go wrong. So it's one of those things that went wrong. As an owner, you got to fix it. 
Now the whole time I was with TMC, Prime, I ain't never get a crack in the window. Never, ever had a crack in the window. I get my truck, first week out, I get two cracks. Bruh, two cracks. Let's say, you, you can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> you cannot make it up. All right, I got my master window cracker. Oh, uh, I say window cracker. Window crack fixer. <laughs> Pulling away, man, but even now, I think uh, it's harder for me to, to even notice the crack. I know it's there, but I can't see it. As well as the one over here in the corner. I can't see it, so man, I'm happy, money well spent, he actually had cut me a discount even more, he was like, man, you military, uh, I'm knock another $20 off, I said, man, I appreciate it, man, but I, I still want to bless you, so I gave him some extra on top of that, and he was, he was like, man, thank you, he was like, eh, thank you, and you know, I don't always... Um, tip certain people because I don't think everybody deserves to be tipped. If you bring me my food at McDonald's, no, you, that's your job. You don't. I just ordered it. You brought it to me in a bag. I'm walking out. I'm not going to give you an extra tip. But people that do a service or a full service for you, yeah, I tip them. I, and you need to tip your people. Man, it, it just it just opened up more doors to you. Like I said, I don't know him really from you know the man on the moon. But uh, we, we even had conversations that may have been considered a little political, but we were able to come to common grounds or understanding on things. And I'm like, man, why is it so hard for other people to do that? You know, people get so caught up in, in their beliefs. Just because it's your belief, that don't mean you're right. That just means that's what you believe. But when you start trying to force your belief on other people, that's when you cross into to their rights. So, uh, man, like I said, this ain't no political channel, man. This is just Zeke Dog talking. But anyway, man, appreciate y'all checking out these videos, man. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. And join the dog team. So, until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.